<laughs> What's up everybody? It's Alex and RJ here from Backyard Sprouts and today's video is going to be us clarifying how we arrived at our name. It has caused some confusion and we want to clear that up. That's coming up next. the farmer's market every weekend and we're out talking to customers we get a lot of questions like oh backyard sprouts where are the sprouts and if uh you'll watch our video on the difference between sprouts and microgreens you'll understand there is one and this kind of came from the fact that when we first started out we were looking at doing backyard actually growing in our backyard right growing different sprouts like planting lettuces and varieties of vegetables and we wanted something to kind of encompass everything we were doing and it was, well, besides the fact that you have to find something that isn't already a taken name, which is unbelievably difficult. It is difficult. And we wanted <laughs> to get a little deep and a little cute with it, have yeah. a little bit of um, meaning to it. So as Alex and I were just starting, we were considering ourselves little sprouts, right? We were, we were starting at the very beginning. It was an adventure for us. So we were backyard sprout growers mm. so that's how we came up with that name not knowing we were going to sell microgreens yeah we had no idea right? we had no idea mm -hmm. so when we first thought of the name alex, alex and i were pitching names and we landed with so many different ones it was like queen city growers yep. queen city farmers urban farmers charlotte yep. farmers we we had a whole list right and because we were trying to practice at the time the Curtis Stone style of urban farming where he was just going off his quarter acre lot, that's where we landed with backyard, like Alex said, and the word sprouts because we were still starting off like little sprouts. So that's yeah. literally how we got to the name. And if we knew maybe a little, uh, if we had a little foresight that we were gonna go microgreens, it may have changed, right. I'm sure it would have. Yeah. Um, but that's how we landed on backyard sprouts. We we don't well, we are trying to dabble with sprouts. Yeah. But our main our main crop is obviously microgreens. So yeah. I don't know if our name would have changed to backyard microgreens. I mean, it doesn't have the same pop. Yeah, it doesn't flow. It's not no. as cute. No. We just wanted something <laughs> that you know stood for what we were doing and kind of what we were focused on, and we felt like that fit. So that is how we got to backyard sprouts. We both liked it too, which was. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, that was the that was the important <laughs> part, right? You have to like you have to come up with yeah. a name that you like. You don't want to just yeah. be something not not that you know people that follow this method of naming convention where it's just and I don't want to say boring, but right. you know like Charlotte Urban Farmers, right? It, it, it's very boring. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, I don't want to. I don't want non-creative, <laughs> non -creative. and and you know it's. Mine and Alex's first baby, our first business, yep. and we wanted it to be something that we liked and not just, like I said, Charlotte Urban Farmers or Queen City Growers. Like, we you wanted to be something. proud. You yeah. want to be proud of your name. You want to be excited to tell people about it. So, yeah. we yeah. like it. We're happy with it. Yep. We're so, not going anywhere. Yep. So, we are Backyard Sprouts, <laughs> yep. and that is how we got our name. We hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And as always, Alex and I are trying to build that community of like minds. So, we'd absolutely love it if you guys hit that like and subscribe button so you guys get the latest on our Urban Karma Get Fetcher. And we'll see you guys next time.